Hey guys, so it's beginning of week five of VLR. Um, I have a particular thought that keeps, you know, it's, it's something that happens all the time, like it reoccurs all the time uh, for my personal use, but it's something that, like, I find with numerous different peoples, with like persons with disabilities and things like that, they have different uh, abilities or different types of um, issues that they have in their lives even if even if you don't have a disability or things like that but this is pri this video is primarily towards persons with disabilities because i have to really say something um and it's going to come across as like cruel it's going to come across as being harsh or all this stuff but i say this because i know the potential of those with with persons with disabilities uh i know what people can do and i have done it myself and I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying that anybody, you know, everyone can, you know, do what I do or things like that. What I'm saying is that you can do what you, what you can do, you know, what you want to be successful in. And ultimately, I just, I want you guys to know that no matter, you know, if you have a disability, no matter what it is, blindness, visual impairment, can't walk, can't, you know, can't use your arms, can't use your legs, don't have arms or legs, whatever it is, I've seen many different types of disabilities and many types of different people who have been successful in their lives. Um, whether you have uh, cognitive impairments, physical impairments, whatever it is, you don't have an excuse to do important things or do incredible things. You can't use your disability as an excuse. You can't use your disability as a means of saying, you know, that, oh, well, this is too difficult for me or things like that because I've, I've seen people overcome this. And the ultimate question is, is you know, that, that I've been thinking about this whole, you know, time warning that, that I think about through my, through my whole entire experiences and uh, doing things is, what is what are the things that you want to do so badly that you're going to go through and bust through every single brick wall and everything gets put in your place to do it and i love technology i love to work with people i love to teach i love to be inspirational i love to do all these different things and that's why i'm doing what i'm doing and i'm breaking through my brick walls of blindness and visual impairment so when i see like i've seen people who are like me blindness and visual impairment oriented and they tell me that they can't go to certain places because either they can't fill out paperwork or because they can't use computers or because they can't use uh, emails because they're not accustomed to going outside of their house, to being public, to being social, things like that. And, and I understand that those types of challenges are there, but those challenges are overcomable. Blindness is not an excuse. Disability is not an excuse. and quite frankly it, it drives me batty when i find people who have disabilities who say that i can't do things 90 percent of the time because i know that they can and that's why a lot of people are going to say well this is cruel or i'm being harsh or whatever it is but um i mean you can feel free to say whatever you like but to be honest i've seen too much success both in myself and in others with many different types of disabilities to think otherwise and I believe you know I say this because I believe in people and I believe in uh, if you are a person with a disability even if you don't have a disability and you just you, you you know you don't have a disability and you're saying you can't do things you can do things you can do what you love you can do what you're passionate about and I want you guys to know this um, because you know I've had to, I've I've gone through this I've gone through the stages of not feeling like going out in public. I've gone through the stages of not talking. I've gone through the stages of I can't. I've gone through the stages of struggle. I've gone through the stages of not accepting my disability, of not accepting my blindness of visual impairment. And I'm telling you guys, it's overcomable. It's achievable. It's something that you can do. No matter who you are, no matter if you have a disability or not, you can do it. And it's important that you guys know this. Um, but as I'm going into week five of VLR, uh, I am I'm growing in a lot of different ways. Um, not from the not not only from the sake of VLR, but from the sake of a lot of different opportunities, a lot of things that are going around. Um, my beliefs in this are just continuously getting reinforced because it's like, why can't you? Why can't you do these things? Why don't you do go for your dreams? I mean. Um, because I've seen a lot of people, particularly, who just say, I can't every day. And it's, and I feel bad because I know that they could, I know that they can, 
but it really comes down to them figuring out what's important enough to them to do it and to, to go forward so um, going forward today I just I wanted to you know starting the week five of VLR I just want to let you guys know that you know I've been through some of this and I want you guys to know that whether you have disabilities or not you can do things and that disability cannot be an excuse you cannot afford to have disability as an excuse as to why you can't do something because you're gonna have enough challenges in your life already you're gonna have enough things that you're gonna say I can't to why not say I can to the simplest thing which is you say I can to yourself because your disability is a part of you once you start accepting you and start accepting your disability you can go farther and you can do incredible things and then then you start hitting the real challenges like how do I grow what skills do I need to do things like that and yeah you're probably gonna say I can't a few thousand times but as long as you keep on saying I can 90% of the time to that 10% I can't times you're gonna get there you're gonna get there because every single person on this planet says I can't the whole point is saying I can 90% of the time and saying I can't 10% because you know Everybody can do everything. The impossible is definitely achievable and that's why I believe perseverance is your key to the impossible. I believe if you work towards it, you believe in yourself, you go for it, you go through your challenges, you can do incredible things. So, um, those are my thoughts. I mean, I, I know this is, it's more of like a thoughts kind of provoking video to start out the day, but this is really something that I feel is extremely important particularly that I'm going to VLR, which is a place that's empowering those with blindness and visual impairment. And, uh, but I want to empower those with blindness and visual impairment, but also without it. Because it's so vitally important that all persons, not with or without disabilities, understand that they can do incredible things. It's just a matter of finding what is so, you know, incredible that you're willing to bust through any brick walls that stand in your way. So that's pretty much all my thoughts, guys, for the moment. Uh, like I said, I'm starting on week five of VLR. I have one tech two braille as usual. My schedule hasn't changed for this week. So I have one tech two braille Monday, Thursday, Friday. And I will be back with you guys for the uh, end of the day comments, you know, as to like how the day went and maybe some other thoughts and things like that. So thanks and I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys, so I am home. Uh, today's Monday. I finished my classes for today and things have gone pretty well. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, phone calls and things done today. I've uh, also made a lot of headway and some opportunities. I've also made a lot of um, uh, progress, particularly in Braille. Uh, in technology, I also fixed a, I, I think I fixed a potential a potential issue with my one of my Twitter accounts. So I'm hoping that works out. If it didn't, I have to refix it again. But otherwise, <laughs> um, but looking, looking forward, um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. Um, but ultimately, like I said to guys, this morning's video, this morning part of it is that Really, if you have a disability or even if you don't have a disability, you can do incredible things no matter who you are. And for those who have disabilities, you can't use your disability as an, ex as an excuse. You just can't. Um, because so many people with blindness, visual impairment tell me that they can't do things that I do. And I told them, I'm like, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, because there's someone out there who is blind, someone out there who has visual impaired. You know, there's, there's two different things to, to, to think about this. Is that for one, is that when you say you can't do something, 99.9% .9 is that people out there have done what you're trying to do. And also, 99%, they are either more vision, you know, if we're talking about blindness, visual impairment oriented, uh, they are 99% either more visual than you are or they are less visually than you are um and you know and the other thing is too is that you know if it's something that you're doing that's totally new to the to the world or totally new to the spectrum then the whole world hasn't done it and then guess what fun you get to do you get to break ground you get to be the one that makes it happen you get to be the one that figures it out yes it's going to be difficult but um difficult things 
you know, when when they start out, they're difficult. And then when you progress, they, they get even more difficult. But uh, as you progress, you start problem solving, you start getting answers to questions, and it starts getting a little bit uh, more maintainable and more easier. So, but, um, I'm, you know, like I said, guys, I'm making headway. I'm going to be making uh, more videos, have more videos out to you guys very, very soon. Uh, the Braille Life, social media.edu. I'm going to do, be doing some HTML videos very soon as well. Uh, but otherwise, that is pretty much it for this vlog. Uh, thank you guys so very, very much for your continued support. If you enjoyed this video, like, favorite, and share the video, that'd be fantastic. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. More content coming out. I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember the perseverance is your key to the impossible. I'll see you guys in future vlogs.